All right. This is going to be an interview of Kiara Cole's mother and sister, and they're at uh, WGCI, the same radio station in Chicago that uh, Miss Teresa was in, and uh, Lenora. And so, for those who haven't seen it yet, here you go. All right. Um, one thing I do want to point out that I've seen so far, I haven't seen the whole interview yet. But for what what I've seen so far is the mother is quite clueless as to certain things that we have questions about. Alright? That's one thing I, I've seen. Okay. Um and so she will answer at best, but you have to pay attention to keywords. When people say things like I believe or um most likely or things like that they don't know they just don't know all right even though this is the mother there's just certain things about this situation that she don't know but she did point out a lot of things about her daughter and um her characteristics the way she is okay she did point out a lot of things about her that, uh, so did the sister all right so that we can learn a lot more about Alright. And uh there's more to hear, so here's the interview. Myself, Kyle, in the building all this week. We've been talking and trying to bring light to the situation of Kiara Coles. Kiara has been missing since uh, October the second. She was three months pregnant, five foot four, 125 pounds, black hair, and brown eyes. Uh, the story goes, as far as we know, she called out of work that day. She worked for the post office, but she was last seen in uniform walking past her parked car on a security camera from one of the neighbors. Now the police are having a reward out there to asking you to call 911 if you have any information. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service is offering a $25,000 reward. And to give us maybe some more insight and maybe um, help us help the family, uh, we have family in the studio right now. We have Kara's mom, who Miss Karen Phillips is here. Good morning to you. Good morning. And we also have uh, Kiara's sister, Keisha, here as well. Good morning. Good morning. So um, we're, we're glad that you guys were able to take a few minutes to sit down with us today. And we wanted to offer you this platform just to put some more information out there so that maybe anybody in Chicago might be able to help find Kiara. I know I just read some of the things that we know, um, you know what I mean, as far as what the news is reporting. But is what would you like to add to what we already know? Is there anything that you would like to tell the people of Chicago listening that might help us, you know, find Kiara? Well, other than, you know, she is, she three months pregnant, she has asthma real bad, so the weather is changing, mm. you know, she she didn't have her asthma, asthma medicine, so, you know, it's, it's getting real critical, and I just want her safely return. So, so Miss Karen, can I, should I call you Miss Karen? Um, so her purse and her phone were left in her car. Yes. Um, when she calls out of work, do we know if she made the phone call out of work? prior to the video that we see on the news or was that phone call made after that video? Well, uh, she would have to make the phone call that night to be uh, able to call off okay. the morning, so I'm sure she made it that night. Okay, she made it that night. So we never, so so we know that, so in the video that we see on the news, it's like we see her walking, but we never see her go out of the frame. So are there more videos to see where she went next that we just haven't seen yet? Yeah, we just haven't seen them yet. Okay. Okay, so we're, there's more videos to come. Yes, there's more videos. Are the police just kind of holding on to them for now to do any investigation, or do they have plans on showing you guys more videos? Well, I'm sure he have plans on showing, but they not they haven't showed them yet. Due to they probably want to, um, you know, put everything together. Yeah. They don't want to show this one little one, right. then this one little. You know, they want to put it all together and just right. show as one. Now, I want to uh, ask a question uh, to to the sis, big sis. So. 
what was your sister like? What was she, as a person, like you know, let's let's let everybody know out there, like what was your sister like? What type of soul was she? What type of spirit was she? Bossy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was. She thought she was everybody mama, like. She could tell you what to do, tell you what to do, and you gotta listen to what she basically saying. That's the type of person that she was, but. She well, I'm gonna change it real quick. We're not gonna say was, we're gonna say I is. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna say is, right. not was. We're gonna say is. Right, yeah. But she loved her niece and nephews. Like, she think they, they she think they, her kids. Her kids. Right. Like, she try to, she'll argue with you up and down about your kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally. You need to be doing this, you gotta be doing this, you gotta be doing this, but. I mean, we love our sister. Right. We just, what, you know, we really just want her to come home. What like, does she like to do? Like, what are some things that you all would do together? Um, she, I mean, she liked to go out. Yeah. She had fun. But sometimes she be to herself. She work a lot. True that. She drive for Lyft. She work for the post office. She a hustler. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty well, is much. There, you said she liked to hang out a little bit. I know she was working hard, but is there any places where, you know, she could hang out and pop up where people might be familiar with her face? That maybe somebody in those areas could say, oh, yeah, Kira, I might have saw her around here or whatever. That might kind of help with the situation. No, nah, she usually would maybe a friend or two. Okay. okay. It's nowhere she would really go by herself unless it's work. Gotcha. Right. Understood. Not a gang of people. Right. She might right. stay in the yeah. intimate setting. Yeah. Right. Okay. Miss Karen, the mother, take me back to the moment when you actually realized when you got who notified you that your daughter is indeed missing. I felt something was wrong because I had been calling her all that day on Wednesday, so I said, you know, okay, you know, she maybe forgot her charger, and her phone just did. So when I started calling her on Thursday, it was going to voicemail. I just didn't feel right, and I had went over to her house to call the police for them to do a Wells being check because I sent her car outside, so I'm like, okay, she probably just in there, but maybe she sleep or, you know, I don't know. I, I just well, didn't feel right. She started calling us first. Okay. Y'all talk to her. Um, no, you know, she gets stubborn sometimes. She probably, you know, I don't want to talk to nobody. Then she called the next day. Um, Lord Jesus, what is going on? She was at her apartment like, no, nah, this not like her, you know, which is not. She always called my mom. If she don't talk to nobody else, right. she called my mom. So you saying, so she's saying is she did have her times when she would disconnect to be off on her own, but she would always make sure yeah. Yeah. she talked to mom. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so when you didn't get a hold of her, is that when you went to the house? Like what happened when you, like, what's the moment you realized, okay, my daughter's missing? Truthfully, Thursday, when I called, the very first time I called, and it still went to voicemail. But, you know, I, I didn't want to over panic, so I just, okay, I'm just going to, you know, wait till I go on break at work, and then I'm going to go check. Then when I, you know, I went to go check, I didn't see her car, so I'm like, okay, she just, you know, maybe her phone broke. But then when I kept calling before I got off of work, she still wasn't answering. Then, you know, that's when I said, no, it's something wrong, because it... You know, she a social media freak. She just not finna have her phone. She would even call me and say, that girl, you know, my phone broke. Right. And so when we're not hearing from her all day Wednesday and half of the day Thursday, I just knew it was something wrong. They have the um, the, the surveillance camera of seeing her on her block. Did she live by herself? Did she have roommates? She like, lived by herself. She, she, by she herself. just had moved over there. She was only staying over there for probably three months, going on four months. Okay. okay. She just moved over there. So the details of her being pregnant, did, were you were you aware that she was pregnant? Mm-hmm. Okay, so was that was that new information that she had just received? No. Okay. She, um, she kind of knew, but okay. she didn't want to, you know, I had been like, girl, take a test, take a test. She was like, no, nope, I'm away, I'm away, I'm, let me <laughs> see, I'm away. And then when she confirmed it, you know, she was like, okay, yeah, I am. So I had started sending her like all type of little baby pictures and I mean little things you know to get for the baby. She's like, don't send them if you're not gonna buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't care. I'm still. Every day I was sending her something. Like, oh look, right. oh look, oh look. <laughs> as far as the investigation, I know um, you know the police have gotten so far. They have videos that you haven't shown <coughs> them. Are they giving you guys on any any insight on the process? Like here's where we are now. Here's the next step. Here's where we are moving forward. Did he give you any insight on how this investigation and a search for Kara goes? No, not no. But he, you know, the the postal um, inspector, he has been calling, checking, saying, you know, we doing all we can. You know, it's things that we can't tell you right now, but you know, we're doing all we can. So, you no, know, they just, I'm just guessing they just want to have, you know, facts together. They don't want to give me bits and pieces and right. nothing. And, 
Well, you know. the detective that was out there yesterday, um, the Chicago police detective that was out there yesterday, they got to be like working on something because they all had popped up over there. It was like five, but it was like four of them, two females and two males. And, you know, they was walking up and down the alley. So they In got the to be her house. behind her building and yeah. stuff. So, you know, they got to be working on something, something that they seen on the footage that they not showing up, that they trying to see if they can find cameras in the alley or whatever the mm -hmm. case may be that can help them. So she did say that they was doing everything that they can do and that they was behind us on this case with my sister. Well, this, uh, um, are you all connected to a church? Uh, there's a church you go to. How's the community and the church and the people in your area stepped up and well, treated you all? Um, the lady from a church over there did come over there. She prayed for us. You know, she prayed for my mom. She hugged us. She was basically saying, yeah, like, you know, if we needed anything, they was there to help us. Right. Okay. All right. We, we've been asking you guys to talk a lot. We're going to take a quick break, uh, you know, just kind of regroup for a second, and we'll come right back and continue this conversation. Yes. Okay? If anybody knows anything about where Miss Kiara Coles is, please don't hesitate to call and share that information, okay? In a minute, we'll come right back for a second. Let's get to this music. Okay. One zero seven five WGCI, the shots number one for hip hop and R and B. We are the morning show with the Dustin Legend, Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendra G, myself, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle. We have guests in the studio this morning, man. Uh, Miss Karen Phillips is here, and Keisha Phillips is here as well. They are the mother and sister of Kiara Coles. If you're just tuning in with us, we've been telling you all week that Kiara has been missing since October the second. Uh, she worked for the post office. She was 27 years old, correct? 20, 26. Okay. Um, When's her birthday? September 24th. Okay. Wow. The day after wow. my daughter's. The day after so you just my had a birthday. Yeah. The day of my mother's, my mother's yeah. birthday. September so we're having a conversation this morning with uh, Miss Karen and Miss Keisha, just hopefully that you know we can share some information and maybe it'll lead uh, to people having some information that we can find where Kiara yeah. is and bring her home safe. And speaking of leads, you know, and these are the things I do hate when things like this happen, the Facebook theories. Um, everyone trying to pinpoint what potentially may have happened. And I know for you as the mom, we were talking off the air, you don't really like all the theories that are going on on social media. But one theory that's consistent is that her boyfriend might be involved. Now, we won't say his name on the radio, but what are your thoughts on that? Did you know her boyfriend because she's pregnant? Did you know the man that she was pregnant by? Yes. Um, from your seat, because you would know more than any of us, do you feel as though he may be involved in her disappearance? No, I don't feel that he's involved. Okay. But Has we're not singling nobody out. Okay. Right, right. We, we know he's going to be a suspect, but as far as with people, you know, putting his mother, his kids, all that stuff up there, that's just not right. We're not asking nobody to do that. That's not the type of help that we're looking for. Right. 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 Well, did, did Kira have any problems with people that, you know, you look at first, like she was beefing with this girl or maybe an ex-boyfriend or just... What type of like? Cause I'm 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 trying to figure out like who would take this girl. You know, are there any leads that you guys thought of? Like maybe she wasn't getting along with someone. That you know, is there anybody that exists like that? No, not to my knowledge. If it was, she didn't tell me. Right. Which we talk about everything. everything. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. I saw something again. That, you know, we don't necessarily believe everything that we read. But I also saw something that, um, and I'm not sure who made the quote, but they were like, well, maybe she was dealing with the pregnancy. You know, maybe things got overwhelming and she just wanted to just be by herself and just disappear for a minute. Do you believe any of those theories? No, not no. 15 days. No, That's no. Just because long. she would know, you know, her, her younger sister, she stays on me about staying on her. So she too caring to just do that to me. She's right. not going to just, you know, di even if she didn't want no one to know where she was, she'll just be like, don't tell nobody where I'm at. I'm only telling so you. So that you wouldn't worry. Yeah, yeah. so I won't worry. She won't worry with me like that. So right. In the, in the days before uh, she came up missing, what was her mood? What was her mood? Had you guys noticed any mood swings or changes in her? Or was she, she the was, same? Yeah, same yeah she was the same. She was so was happy. She had called me on Monday. Um, she was crying. She was like, I heard my baby heartbeat. It was so emotional. Aww. You know, she was crying. Yeah. She really wanted Yeah. You know, she took steps and how she did things, and it, everything was coming along. You know, she had got a, car, a little truck first, then she moved out, then she planned her pregnancy. So everything was coming along for her. She was she was too happy. Yeah. You mentioned earlier that she was very uh, active 
social media, Instagram, and things of that nature. And I wouldn't put it out there unless you ask. But do you think it's helpful for people that maybe not, don't know what she looks like to go to her Instagram to look at her picture? Snap, share it? Snapchat, Snapchat, is yeah. daily. Yeah. So if it's on Snapchat, it's probably gone right now. But on Instagram, anything that she posts would have been gone. But on Instagram, she might have some pictures that other people uh, could still see, if possible. You think um, that's important? Well, it's all up and down Instagram and Facebook. So, you know, I'm sure everybody didn't see her picture. Now it's just a point of, you know, who's going to step up and say, yeah, I sent this girl. Or, you know, I know what happened. Or any good thing. It may be. Nothing to them, but a lot to us. No. Right. Yeah. right. There's a reward right now um, for $25,000. $28,000. $28,000. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. $28,000 if you have information. And what's the number that you will call if you have information? Is it 911? Um, it's a number that's on the flight. I'm not sure, but you can call 911. You can inbox me, one of her sisters. Yeah, I don't care. I'll get out there. You know. Some of the flyers, because, you know, it's just too much for my mom, so... We had made some more flyers. We just put my number and my other sister number on there. So she wouldn't be getting all the calls coming in to her. Okay, and the number that they have on one of the flyers is... Um, you call 911. That's the easiest number yeah. to always remember. Yeah. Um, I believe there's a UPS number, too, and that is 877-876-2455. 877-876-2455. thousand dollars reward for information yeah. that can lead to what happened to... This lady's daughter and her sister. That's right. Ladies, um, if I could ask you just one word to describe your sister, one word to describe your daughter. What would, what would that word be for you? She was just real loving. Caring, yeah. caring yeah. loving. Wow. Yeah. Two words that are synonymous with each other. So that, that really was her spirit. She was a nurturing mother and spirit. And the fact that she's pregnant, like you said, she really mapped this out. Yeah. This yeah. is really something she wanted. Well, we do want to, once again, thank you guys for coming up. And, you know, I said it off mic, but is there anything that you just want to say about Kiara, you know, as we wrap up this conversation that people, you know, you would like people to know about her or that you feel might help in this whole situation? We'll just leave you guys with the last word. You know, I just, if anybody know anything, you know, as a mother, I'm begging for you to call anonymous, write a letter, slip it under their door, you know, it don't really matter, just, you know, help bring her home, because it's getting cold outside, I know she didn't have a jacket or a coat on, she got asthma real bad, and these days that's going past, it's really getting critical. Absolutely, how about you, Keisha? No. Well, I want understood. We wanted to say from the bottom of our hearts, we are praying for you. We are keeping positive vibes and positive energy. We are praying that Kira right now is somewhere that um, she is alive and well. And we are asking that God return her home to her mother, to her sister, to her family, to her baby that's in her belly that we hope that God is protecting her right now. Again, we're going to keep positive vibes. We're going to think that she is still alive. She is still alive. We just have to find her location. And if you do have any information, please return her home to our loved ones. There's a $28,000 reward. Please do not stand silent if you know information that can bring this young lady home. We're we here for you. If you need us, we're here. Anytime you want to talk mm-hmm. to us, you know what I'm saying, we're here. Right. Or if you come up any on any new information, you say, we're yo, here. we just found this out. Can you guys put this out for us? Okay. Just reach out to us, okay? okay. Our right. voice is your voice. Okay. And I, I feel like, I'm going to say this real quick. Sometimes people might know information about their friend. If you know I have a friend that's involved in this and it's not right, that's not your friend. Go to the authorities. Let's bring this girl home. Let's, Because I feel like people, someone, the person that's involved is not going to tell them themselves, but there might have a friend that might know about it. That person, don't be a friend to them. Be a friend to this mother. Be a friend to Kiara and tell the authorities. Let's bring her home. Yeah. Thank you all for coming up here this morning and taking the time. Ms. Karen Phillips, Ms. Keisha Phillips. And uh, if you know anything about how we can get Kiara Cole's home, please hit us up and hit up the authorities, 911. And uh, let's make it happen, all right? Thank you all for coming up. Thank you. Thank you.